Our Jeff Paston joins us now for the very latest. And, and Jeff, let's start there with what's going on in the, in the Mets organization, actually as a whole, because it's interesting. Each team, each player tending to do things differently as they stand up on their own for what they believe are social injustices in certain ways, compared to maybe the NBA, the NFL. What's your take on how the league as a whole is handling this compared to other leagues? It's been really interesting, Sage, because I think Major League Baseball today as a whole finally came to the recognition that what happened yesterday, only three teams postponing games, was not right. That there should have been unity. There should have been unanimity. There should have been everybody standing together. And that would have sent a far greater message than sort of this fractious way they've gone about it. But at the same time, if you go and look at the press conferences that managers and players are holding, if you go and look at the words that are being spoken today, we're hearing things said by Major League Baseball players and managers that we've never heard before. We're hearing things said that we didn't hear after George Floyd's murder. We're hearing things said right now on the eve of Jackie Robinson Day that should have been said years ago by the people involved in the sport. And I don't know that we're going to look back on this moment, Sage, ultimately as some kind of a turning point. I, I feel like, you know, this is this is happening everywhere right now and it was inevitable. But what's happened in baseball over the last 48 hours is something that I could not have anticipated at any point, considering that three years ago, Bruce Maxwell was the only player to take a knee during the national anthem. And mm -hmm. here we are three years later with almost the entire sport postponing games because of racial injustice. And Jeff, as far as the Mets are concerned, uh, basically an, an embarrassing situation uh, with Brody Van Wagenen. Um, as well as he, we just read the apology that he just issued after mistakenly thinking that Commissioner Rob Manfred uh, had issued an idea, at least to the team, how they should protest, how they should handle yesterday's game. Instead, it was his boss, Jeff Wilpon. He issued the apology. Should this be over? What's your take on what just happened with the Mets? Uh, Mets are going to Mets. And I think that stage by now we know that uh, anything rough that could happen with the Mets is going to. But I, I'd like to believe, I'd like to hope that the thing we're going to take away from the New York Mets today is not the call that was leaked onto the Internet. It's the fact that the day after Dominic Smith was on his knee, the day after Dominic Smith was tearfully talking about what it's like to be a black man in America in 2020 and how scary it is and how sad it is, not only did the rest of his team, but the other team agreed to go off the field after 42 seconds, 42 seconds to honor Jackie Robinson and lay a T-shirt on home plate that says Black Lives Matter. That, yeah. to me is progress, and it's the sort of progress that I, I would not have anticipated seeing from Major League Baseball. Ben Wagner made a mistake. He issued an apology, and I think we're all on the same page. There are certainly bigger issues to focus on. Jeff Passan, thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.